a world divided, Pangelands and the whispering unknown. Pangelands, a realm of vibrant life and ancient magic. Towering forests carpeted the land, their canopies alive with the songs of exotic birds. Crystal clear rivers snaked through emerald valleys, reflecting the azure sky. This was a place where nature's heartbeat resonated in every leaf and stone. But beyond the familiar, beyond the borders of the known, lay the outlands. Shrouded in an ethereal mist, the outlands whispered tales of forgotten magic and ancient beings. It was a place of constant flux, where reality itself seemed to bend and shift like the swirling mists. Fear and wonder warred within the hearts of the villagers when they spoke of the outlands. Some believed it to be a place of unimaginable beauty and wonder. Others whispered of lurking dangers and whispered secrets best left undisturbed. Ilara, a young woman with eyes as green as the forest she called home, walked among the villagers. Known for her deep connection to nature, she possessed an uncanny ability to understand the language of plants. Their whispers spoke to her, revealing their healing properties and hidden secrets. The villagers called her the Whisperer of Herbs, seeking her wisdom and remedies. Ilara's touch, gentle and sure, could soothe burns with aloe vera or ease a fever with willow bark. She moved with a quiet grace, her presence as calming as the scent of lavender that clung to her clothes. But Ilara yearned for more. She craved knowledge, driven by an insatiable curiosity to unravel the mysteries that lay beyond the familiar. The whispers of the Outlands called to her, a siren song that promised both wonder and peril. One day, while foraging for rare herbs deep within the forest, Ilara stumbled upon an ancient stone archway. Half hidden by vines and shrouded in mist, it pulsed with an otherworldly energy. The stones, etched with strange symbols, hummed with a power that sent shivers down her spine. Legends spoke of such gateways, portals to the outlands, forgotten by time and hidden from ordinary eyes. Ilara's heart pounded in her chest, a mixture of fear and exhilaration coursing through her veins. The whispers of the wind seemed to urge her forward, promising answers to the questions that burned in her soul. With a deep breath, Ilara stepped across the threshold and the world dissolved around her. The air shimmered, the familiar scents of the forest replaced by the sweet, earthy aroma of unknown blossoms. Ilara found herself in a realm of impossible beauty. Glowing flora illuminated the mist, their petals shimmering like captured starlight. And then she saw them, figures shrouded in mist, their forms shifting and changing like the mists themselves. They were neither male nor female, young nor old, but something altogether different, ancient, powerful. Welcome, Elara, whisperer of herbs, one of the figures spoke, their voice a chorus of a thousand whispers. We have been expecting you. Elara's mind reeled. Who were these beings? What did they want from her? We are they, another figure spoke, their voice resonating with the wisdom of eons. Guardians of knowledge, keepers of time. We offer you a gift, Ilara. Visions of the past, present and future. But be warned, for such knowledge comes at a price. Terror warred with curiosity in Ilara's heart. She had sought knowledge, yearned to unravel the mysteries of the Outlands. But the price, what did it mean? What would she have to sacrifice? What is the price? Ilara asked, her voice trembling slightly. To see all is to know sorrow. One of the figures replied, their voice filled with ancient sadness. The burden of knowledge can be heavy, Ilara. Are you sure you are ready to bear it? Ilara hesitated, her gaze sweeping over the ethereal beauty of the Outlands. Could she turn away? Could she return to her village, her life knowing that such wonders existed but remained beyond her reach? No, she couldn't. I accept. I choose knowledge even with its burdens. Time seemed to lose all meaning within the swirling mists of the Outlands. Ilara spent what felt like eons with they, absorbing knowledge that spanned lifetimes. She witnessed the rise and fall of civilizations, the ebb and flow of magic, the intricate tapestry of fate. Finally, the time came for her to return. 
Stepping back through the ancient archway, she found herself standing once more in the familiar forest, the whispers of they fading into the rustling leaves. But Ilara was forever changed. The weight of their knowledge settled upon her shoulders, a heavy cloak woven from the threads of time and destiny. Gone was the carefree curiosity of youth, replaced by a somber wisdom that seemed to age her beyond her years. Section 7. A Changed Heart. Ilara's Wisdom Unveiled. The villagers, accustomed to Ilara's gentle smile and soothing presence, were taken aback by the change in her demeanor. Her eyes, once sparkling with youthful curiosity, now held a depth of knowledge that bordered on sorrow. Yet her connection to nature seemed stronger than ever. She could sense the subtle shifts in the wind, the whispers of the trees, the hidden language of the earth itself. And with this newfound awareness came a profound understanding of the delicate balance that held their world together. The importance of respecting the delicate balance of nature, the consequences of our actions, the interconnectedness of all things. Ilara began to share her wisdom, her voice tinged with a newfound urgency. We must listen to the earth, understand its needs and protect its delicate balance. Section 8, the gift of foresight guiding her people. Her visions, once a source of fear and uncertainty, became a beacon of hope for the villagers. She could anticipate droughts, predict storms, and guide them towards bountiful harvests. When a blight threatened to destroy their crops, it was Ilara who devised a solution using a combination of herbs and ancient rituals, saving the village from starvation. When a neighboring village was threatened by bandits, it was Ilara's premonition that allowed them to prepare a defense and drive back the attackers. Word of Ilara's wisdom and her uncanny ability to foresee the future spread throughout the land. People came from far and wide, seeking her guidance and counsel. Section 9. Whispers Through Time. Ilara's Enduring Legacy. Years turned into decades, and Ilara's hair, once as bright as the summer sun, turned as white as snow, but her spirit remained strong, her resolve unwavering in her mission to guide and protect her people. She never spoke of her encounter with they, knowing that the villagers would never fully understand the burden she carried. But their presence lingered in her every word, in the depth of her knowledge, in the wisdom that shone from her eyes. And so, the legacy of the Outlands lived on, not in whispers of fear and uncertainty, but in the heart of a woman who had dared to embrace the unknown and returned with the gift of foresight. Section 10. The Outlands Beckon, a realm of enduring mystery. The ancient stone archway remained hidden deep within the forest, shrouded in mist and guarded by the whispers of the wind. It stood as a silent testament to the mysteries that lay beyond the veil of reality, a reminder that some secrets are best left undisturbed. But for those brave enough to seek it out, to listen to the whispers of the wind and follow the path less traveled, the outlands beckoned. A realm of endless possibility where the boundaries of reality blurred and the whispers of time echoed through the ages.